Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Crossover. Today we are going to be talking about... A mother's role in the family. And as you can see, we have a special guest, which is our mom. And uh, it is a blessing to have this wonderful woman of God in our life. You know, through all, you know, all the, the 17, almost 18 years of my life and 12 years of your life, you know, mm -hmm. to have this woman of God to constantly push us in the right path, you know, to, uh, to always, you know, put God first in our lives and in her life and in our family. So, uh, with all that being said, we're not going to waste any time. We are just going to hop straight into the verse. And the verse that we have is, uh, Proverbs chapter 22, verse six. It says, Direct your children onto the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. And I think that being a single parent for so many years in the past was difficult. It was something that um, was was hard to to do alone, but with God, you know, everything everything worked out for good. And everything happens for reasons and raising kids on your own is not something that God intended a family to be not one parent uh, raising kids by themselves it takes two parents for a family and because they have different roles and it was you know it was a lot of trials and a lot of difficulty but with God, anything, anything can happen. And like my husband had said, the previous video is that, you know, everything comes together for good, even, even in the, in the bad times. Yeah. Like there, there were so many times where, you know, like, as I said before, you know, like difficult times and stuff, you know, there, there was always those. And like you said, you know, it was never intended for, you know, parents to be separated mm -hmm. because, as you said, there are different roles. You yeah. know, the mom is supposed to be, you know, loving, kind, you know, and then the dad is supposed to be, you know, not the opposite, but, you know, kind of the opposite, you mm -hmm. know, as in like more so stricter, you know, discipline. Yes. And they, I mean, that doesn't mean is that they aren't going to love, you know, they love uh, the same as a mom does, but it's different. It's it's a little different. So, you know, it's God wants them to play the parts. And when there's a single parent, mom or dad, you know, it they have to kind of take the role of both, which mm -hmm. is not really good. It's not. It it doesn't really go well. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not what God intended. Um, a family is two parents and children. And when one is, is taken away, it's hard to be both. But if, if you know what your, uh, what your plan is with God in your life, then you know, it makes it so much easier. But you always have to have God first in your life and always put it in prayer. And especially raising kids. Oh, it is, it is difficult, but with God, everything works out for the better. Mm -hmm. And the second verse that we have is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 13. It says, I will comfort you there in Jerusalem as a mother comforts her child. And that's with anything, um, comforting uh, your child through good, bad um, any situation that they may be in and just that goes along with what a mother's love is just like how God loves his church and how it says in the Bible that a husband should love his wife as God loves his church and that's the the type of love we have to have for each other especially for our kids to raise them the right way and always always be there for them in, in anything that they go through. So. Yeah. Like, you know, how you, how 
no matter how long we've been together, it's it's always been, you know, it, it's it's been good. You know, it's been tough, mm. you know, but you've always been here. And, you know, that's what a mother's supposed to do. A mother's supposed to, you know, hold on, you know. The mothers are a lot stronger than you think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mothers are a lot stronger than you think, you know. Um, so, with this all being said, Josiah, would you like to give us the verse of this week? The verse of this week is from Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20. My son, it says, My son, obey your father's commands and don't neglect your mother's instruction. It is saying that your parents do certain things to teach you lessons that you're going to need in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, with this all being said, we're going to give a opportunity, one, to um, pray for help for any mothers that need help maybe raising a child, you know, or a family, you know, that needs prayer. Then... Um, we're going to have a prayer for that, and we're also going to have a prayer for uh, the sinner's prayer. If you want to go to heaven, and if you want to have a relationship with Jesus. Now, the only way that you can go to heaven is by having a relationship with Jesus. It's very simple. You know, you don't have to, as other religions say, you don't have to, you know, go to heaven, or you don't go to heaven by your good works. You know, you go to heaven through as simple as a relationship with Jesus. And we're going to give that opportunity right now. So uh, if you want a relationship with Jesus, or actually first, we'll start off with the mother's prayer. So if you have a issue or something like that, if you need prayer, if you're a mother and you need prayer, you know, your family needs prayer, then I want you to say this prayer with us. Dear Lord, we ask for all the mothers out there for help in any situation, in every situation. And we ask for strength. We ask for wisdom. We ask for knowledge and to help our kids teach us so that we can help them and teach them in your ways only so that they will not depart and guide us and help us with everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. No. As I said, uh, we're going to now say the uh, sinner's prayer. So if you would like to accept Jesus in your life, if you want a relationship with him, then I want you to say this prayer as well. Dear Lord, I thank you for everything that you've done. I thank you for the good and the bad because I know that everything works for your good. Dear Lord, I pray that you give me your Holy Spirit. I pray that you fire up your Holy Spirit in me, dear Lord. I also pray that you lead me down the right path, dear Lord. I believe that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for my sins and everybody else's. I believe that with all my heart, in Jesus' name, amen. Have you said that prayer? Congratulations, welcome to the family of God. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, do all that to stay up to date with everything that we're doing. And, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. We hope you have a wonderful, blessed, fantastic, amazing night, day, evening, whichever it is for you. And, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.